Hey everyone, so this is my new setup. <laughs> it's changed a little bit, some of it's still the same, um, but it's a work in progress. So I thought I would pop on here, say hello again. It's been a little while, things are still a little hectic, a little busy, but I really wanted to make some time to film this video and to show you the new setup. Because even though I haven't been filming, I've still been doing things. Um, I've just been taking a little bit more time to do life stuff, I guess. Um, but I am excited to have some more shelving space. Um, and the nail polish hasn't gone. It's just moved to a different section of the room. And so I'll show you that as well at the end because it's kind of tucked away in a corner now. Um, but yeah. This is how it looks. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, I like the fact that I have more shelf space now. I can kind of spread things out, move things around and incorporate some new types of stuff that I'm getting into as well. Um, but hopefully I should be able to start to film a few more things. So if there are any videos in particular that you're wanting to see, or if you have any questions for me, just leave them in the comments below of this one. I really wanted to share what I've done with you and just give you an overview. This is what it looks like now. I'll insert some photos of the progress of what it looked like before, during, the kind of after that I was working with and then I made a couple of little tweaks as well. And I will probably tweak it and make some different changes as I go along as I want to move things off the shelf and put other things onto the shelf. Um, I'm toying with the idea of going through my entire perfume collection and possibly getting rid of things that I know I'm probably not going to use. Um, so that's not in the immediate future, um, but maybe in a couple of months time or so I might just work towards doing that. It's busy, don't get me wrong, it's still busy, but it's a little less busy uh, compared to the hundreds of bottles of nail polishes that were there before. So before it was just the shelves in the middle and on the outside were four nail polish racks and I liked it. I was really happy with that, but I just felt like I needed some more room to spread out some of the perfumes and other things and just change it up because it's been like that for a while now and this is how it turned out. But yeah, so I will get behind the camera now, scoot it a little bit closer and show you how it turned out. So this is an overview of what it looks like now. Um, you can see I've incorporated some books in, which is a little bit different. I've been getting more into reading and audiobooks. So these are just a few of the books that I enjoy. I haven't read that one yet. I want to, but I haven't had a chance to do it. And I know it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. So. <laughs> I'm just waiting until I'm in a better mood to read that one but this is what it looks like I'll pan from side to side to show you so we'll just loosen up the camera here so on this side and then go across this way now if I look down a little you'll see the shelves down there so the shelves themselves now, I've got some platforms on them, whereas before it was just the mirrors and some things behind it. I still kept the mirrors there because I like the way that they look, but they've been pushed back a little further. And then I have a, a crystal glass, like it looks like crystal, it's just glass, cake tray, a small one and a big one to just give some layering and just different height differences and then you've got the normal desk that's in the same spot and then the same on this side so that's a lot of the roller balls and um, travel sizes and again the same thing here the cake stand here and the lower ones down there and then that they're on the mirror and there's less perfumes just in general. So a little bit about the front here. So I'll go through the bottom two shelves first. Just pan you across there. And you can see those. And then I'll go through the top two.
two shelves. And then there's a shelf that I don't really use. It's just for decoration. So, so you'll recognize most of these. They were on the shelves before, but they're just a slightly different placement. If I go up a bit, these are the top two shelves. Everything just has a bit more room to spread out, which has been fun. And there's the top. And then the top one's the same as it was before, pretty much, but I've just spread everything out and just added these weird hand <laughs> ring holder, hand necklace holder things. Oh, it just adds a bit of colour up there. I can't reach that, so it's not really practical to keep things up on that top shelf that I use um, very frequently. I just like the colours of the Arvo juice, and it's something that really got me into um, nails and OPI to begin with, was the Arvo juice. Way back in 2005, there was a salon that I used to get my nails done at near where I work, and that's where I discovered OPI. I remember that's where my first bottles of nail polish I purchased were, I think it was, yeah, beginning of 2005. It was Day at the Peach by OPI as part of their summer collection. It was a holographic peach nail polish. Elle's Pearls from the Legally Blonde 2 collection. And it's a nice pearly white with iridescent purples and pinks. And Japanese Rose Garden was the other per those are my first three OPO nail polishes and I still own them and they still work and they're still great um, but that's what started my passion for nail polish and it kind of just went on from there and that's yeah back in 2005 and come back <laughs> so that's my new setup oh, I'll just stand down a little lower I am really happy with the way that it turned out Took a couple of days to just kind of get everything down, clean everything off, but I might spin you around really quickly and show you where my nail polish just ended up. So, I'll move my chair out of the way and I'll come and get you. Come with me. Spin you around. These are my lights. Oh, that's me there. Maybe let's change that angle a little bit. Let's see. Come with me. I'll move that. That'll do, you'll get the point. So this is the nail polishes now. I had these six shelves before, but I've just added two more down the bottom. They fit and a third just around the corner here. So now instead of having six shelves there, I've got nine, um, but I still do have one shelf in the cupboard um, that just has some base coats, top coats, things like that that just didn't fit on those ones. So yeah that's it that's it for me for now um yeah i hope you're all doing really well if you do have any questions or if you want to see more in particular uh, let me know i may do an updated perfume collection now that i've kind of got everything all in the one place which is nice um, there are still perfumes in drawers though but a lot of the ones that I like to use are out on display, which has been fantastic. Um, it's been really lovely reaching for different things. But yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, otherwise, I hope you're all doing really, really well. I hope you're having a fantastic morning, afternoon or evening, whatever it may be, wherever you are. And I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.